Hi, I'm Elizabeth. Today I want to talk about mitotic cell rounding in animal cells. When we grow animal cells in culture, we see that in interface, that means cells that are not dividing, cells are very much spread out on the substrate and have a flat and irregular shape. Now when cells are preparing for cell division and entering mitosis, they undergo a shape change and acquire a round, almost spherical shape. Why do cells actually do this? In this way, they provide space and a defined geometry for the assembly of the mitotic spindle and chromosome segregation. In my research, I want to get a physical understanding of how the cell manages to adopt this round shape. Let's consider an example from everyday life, a water balloon. The liquid interior is subject to hydrostatic pressure, which is balanced by mechanical tension in the rubber sheet of the balloon. Do we possibly have a similar situation in the cell with a pressurized liquid interior and a tensed envelope at the cell boundary? At the onset of mitosis, the cytoskeletal protein actin gets enriched at the cell periphery together with the motor protein myosin. Myosin is known to crosslink actin filaments and to generate tension in actin meshworks. Therefore, we have tension in the cell cortex, just like in the sheet of an inflated water balloon. If this simple physical picture is true, a physical law called Laplace's law describes the force balance at the cell boundary. It relates pressure in the cell, mechanical tension and mean curvature of the cell boundary. We have set up an experiment where we uniactually compress cells between two plates, measuring these three variables simultaneously we find that they indeed fulfill Laplace's law, confirming the simple physical picture of the mitotic cell.